This morning, the Israeli Defense Forces air assault on Gaza pressing ahead. The IDF striking hundreds of sites across the Hamas-led territory from above. An IDF spokesman on why their targets appear to look like Gaza civilian sites. If it's above ground, they locate themselves in civilian buildings. And Hamas being the cowards that they are. The IDF also mobilizing more than 360,000 reservists, potentially preparing for a ground invasion. With destruction all around, many families in Gaza forced to shelter in place. There's no electricity. Uh, there's no food supply. There's no water. Uh, there's no internet connection. In Gaza and Israel, heartbreak as the number of dead rises. ABC's Matt Gutman in an Israeli village near Gaza. This is the town of Kfar Aza. There are military jeeps, tanks everywhere. We understand that there were dozens and dozens of people killed here. There may still be bodies out in this town right now. Days after Hamas militants carried out a deadly surprise attack on Israel, the scope of loss still not fully known. Families in the region and around the world on edge as Hamas claims to hold 150 civilians captive. President Biden confirming Americans are among those hostages and assuring U.S. support for Israel's fight. We will make sure the Jewish and Democratic State of Israel can defend itself today, tomorrow, as we always have. Here in Washington, House members say there is bipartisan support for sending emergency assistance to Israel, but nothing can go up for vote without a House speaker. That vote could come down today. Justin Finch, ABC News, Capitol Hill.